Today is the annual awards day for the Institute uh, where the students, well basically as it said, they, they, receive, they receive their awards. There's various levels, um, FBHI which is obviously the highest qualification you can get, MBHI which is a quali fully qualified watch or clockmaker and then we have various certificates as, as, they as they work their way through it. We will also be giving out some medals and special awards today. So we have a very, very, a very big mix of people here today. There's invitations from those from some of our corporate sponsors, our members, uh, our directors, uh, obviously both, both board members, and students, students as well. So it's, it's, it's a very good mix. We have presentations, demonstrations going on. Uh, we have some speakers, and at the end of the day is the award ceremony itself. So it's a very full day. Uh, it's been going for a number of years now, and has been very successful so far. The smallest wristwatch, uh, the smallest tourbillon page, one of the very, very smallest here, in uh, this rather unusual uh, design of self winding uh, wristwatch tourbillon, uh, which was produced in a small series again. Uh, this is very interesting just as an anecdote because the concept of this piece is really rather exceptional. The 18 karat gold case is actually the main plate of the movement, and so the jewels are set into. Uh, the case back and the whole movement is built inside there and then the glass has to be fitted right at the end. Uh, work. And so with Mr. Grubler and myself, we, we looked at the tourbillon and we thought, well, the problem is there are two extremes with a mechanical watch. The balance wheel system is affected by gravity when we're talking about a wristwatch. So to give you an idea, if you think of a bicycle wheel, so if you have a bicycle wheel and you hold the axis and it turns around, it will stop always with the same heading point, and that's simply the effect of gravity working on that, and it's the same in a mechanical watch, so any slight imbalance in the balance wheel system in the movement, when the watch is vertical, uh, it will have an effect on timekeeping, uh, which will, depending on the position of the watch, change the rate of the movement. But when you put that bicycle wheel horizontal, of course gravity can no longer make it stop in one place. And so there you have the two extremes, horizontal and vertical. So with Mr. Grubber we started to think out of the box and we thought, well, maybe there's a way we can use gravity to our advantage. And so we had this sort of eureka moment where we thought we can put a bigger balance wheel into the height of the movement but by using an inclination of that balance wheel system, we can harness the effects of gravity much more of the time than in the traditional concept. It's very important it carries on because obviously the clock and watch makers are, are, are very much needed. Everybody has a clock, everybody has a watch. If it's not able to repair it, uh, it's going to be a very difficult world. So, you know, we've, we've spent this year going out very much promoting ourselves, uh, something that we don't seem to have done before. Uh, we, we, we've, had a, we've had a marquee made um, and we've gone out in some very muddy fields and introduced ourselves to the public. We've been to county shows, uh, we've been to a few local branch events as well and really any, anywhere that we started to get a few invites as well. People wanted to come to them which is, which, which is working very well. That plus we've modernised our website made it far simpler to work from and we've, ach we've achieved a much much higher student in in, uh, inflow or input we've had a number of years I would say business is up about 40% this year because at the end of the day you know, we, have, we, have to, we have to look at numbers even though we are teaching people uh, the numbers are up sizeably so you know, hopefully it will continue that way